Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. As you do know this, this is a Windows 11 system and it's pretty much already been installed on this virtual computer that's been working on right now for a developer. Pretty much trying to check out the new features and stuff like that and it's going to be out of this in a couple months. Regardless, as you do notice, I don't have my desktop icons and I haven't really changed too much of the themes and it's partly because I'm limited underneath my personalization. So here I'm in personalization and I want to change some stuff but it's pretty much limited by choices because I need to pretty much need to activate Windows for it. So on this video, I want to be showing you how to activate Windows in Windows 11. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so pretty much all we pretty much have to do, I probably just need to go to search or the search bar, and I can probably just type in activate, but instead of doing that route, I can just show it to you ahead. Let me just type in activate. This pretty much comes up. If yours doesn't want to come up, because this has been happening a little bit on Windows 10, Windows 10, Windows 11, pretty much, you're having some problems like this. You see this one's coming up perfectly fine, and here it is. If you do not see that option, then you can pretty much go to the Start menu and look for the Settings icon, get to the same location, and then from there, on the top or somewhere in this thing, you should be able to see Activate Now. So go ahead and select it. And here we are to this situation. It says that Windows reported that there's no product key was found on this device. It was not any device because I did had to pretty much reinstall this from scratch. It's not been upgraded or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change the product key right now. Now, technically right now, I've been using all different types of product keys and stuff like that. One of the ones that is still valid, it seems that Windows 10 is going to support on this. So I'm going to go ahead and try this and see if this will work. I'm going to have to blur this out because I don't want you to use this product key for it. But let me go ahead and type it in, blur it out, and see if this will activate it. One second. All right, guys, so I pretty much typed it in. I don't know if this is going to work. If it doesn't work, I'm probably going to have to glitch this. I'm probably install Windows 10 first and then upgrade it to Windows 11 for this to work. But I'm going to go ahead and just give this a try. I'm going to go ahead and press next. And tells us by activating Windows, you'll get the best experience and free from interruption. So let me go ahead and try and activate. And let's see what this does. And it seems that Windows is activated. So that was successful. This is what I installed right here was a Windows 10 Pro product key that I have purchased, and it was able for it to activate for Windows 11 Pro. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.